Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on Angular material with Angular. In the previous video, we have learned adding date picker in our Angular application using Angular material. And there you might have observed that when we click on date picker, the pop-up which comes in that one, the dates of current months are being shown here. There might be some scenarios where you want to show the months of current year by default. Just like when you click on any year by choosing the date pickers option. Like this, if you want to show in any of the scenarios in your real-time application, there is a option in Angular material for that one as well. There is a year view option provided Angular material. By making use of that one, you can provide a view similar to this one. So let's see how to achieve that one for this Angular date picker. Let me open a code editor first. This is a code which we have added for our date picker. Let me add one more copy of this code so that we can compare what is the difference between the normal default view and the year view. I will give a title for this one as year view. To convert this one from our normal default date picker view to year view, you need to add a property by name start view and within the bracket you need to mention as year and as we are using another set of this date picker let me change the reference variable of this one to picker2 and the same one will change this one to picker2 and here as well now we have converted normal default view to year view so let me save this file and go back to browser to preview this one now you can observe we have two date pickers here. One is the default view and the year view. When I click on default view, you can observe dates of current months are being displayed here. And similarly, when I click on year view, you can observe the months of this year are being shown here. And when you click on particular month, the dates of that month will be displayed here. This is one of the useful feature or the extension of Angular material. Similar to this one, there might be another scenario where you want to display all the years like this by default. So when user comes to this page, when user clicks on this date picker, instead of months or dates, you want to show all these years and user can select particular year and within that one, he can dig down and select month then the dates of that particular month. For that scenario also, Angular material provides another default view. So let me go back to the code editor. I will copy this code and I will make another copy of this one. And I will name this one as picker3. Now instead of year for this start view, we can mention multi-year. This is a default view which we need to add for our matte date picker to convert this one to multi-year view. Change the title as multi-year view. Save this file and go back to browser. Now you can observe we got multi-year view date picker here. When I click on that one, you can observe all the years are being shown here. So that whenever user comes here, you can choose particular year and go to that particular year. And within that year, you can select the month. And within that month, you can dig down. And within that month, you can select the particular dates whatever the dates user want to choose. These are the two default views, year view and multi-year view, which comes handy whenever you want to provide different options to the users. So that's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.